going to be a book haul. I made a cheeky midnight purchase a few weeks ago and I thought I'd just share the books that I got. I have a total of 12 books to show you guys, which is maybe quite a lot for one purchase, but I have my reasons guys, I have my reasons. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is actually the first seven books in the haul, and that is my Harry Potter box set! I've been wanting to own the Harry Potter books in hardback for such a long time, and I finally decided to get them because there was a huge sale on the book depository. It was like £50 off, which is ridiculous. And the, this is the new Bloomsbury edition, which I thought was just gorgeous, so I wanted to get that one. And it came in this box, they're not in here at the moment because that would be heavy. But it came in this box, it's just red with like a gold dragon on it, and on top it says, no, it does not. On the sides it says Harry Potter, and Harry's in the back. Now for the actual books, I'll show you each of them because I love them. So the first one is obviously Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I really like these uh, covers. Anything with a rubbery texture like this is just an insta buy for me. I just really like the illustrations, they're really nice. And the back has an illustration as well, as well as a quote, which I like. And I also really like the um, and without the dust jackets, just look really nice I think. And they also have really nice end papers. Really nice. And something that may be kind of weird to say, but I really enjoy the font in this. <laughs> I just thought it was really pleasant to read. So I'm really happy with these. I'll show you the rest of the books as well. So we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Looks like this. Prisoner of Azkaban, probably my favorite cover. Has the knife first in the back. Couple of Fire. The Order of the Phoenix. I love the illustration of Snape in the back. Gorgeous, oh, you can't tell, sorry. Half-Blood Prince, has Malfoy in the back. And finally, The Deathly Hallows, which looks like that. So yeah, I'm just really excited about owning all of the Harry Potter books in hardback, and they just look beautiful on my shelf, which is so exciting. Next, I have another series to show you. I was waiting for the final book to come out before I ended up buying the whole thing, and that is the Maradaya series, or trilogy maybe I should say. I have been wanting to read these for such a long time and finally the final book came out and I was like yes, I'm gonna buy them. So of course the series consists of The Unbecoming of Maradaya, The Evolution of Maradaya and The Retribution of Maradaya. The reason I hurried up and got all of them was because The Retribution of Maradaya was supposed to be signed but it wasn't when I got it so that was kind of sad. I'm really excited about owning all of them now because, I mean, I really want to marathon the series. I'm thinking of reading them in January and making it January of Maradaya. If any of you guys would like to join me, I would love that. So if you haven't read the Maradaya series and would like to read them with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. And the next book I have to show you is Gun Online by Zoe Sag. I've already shown this in my December TBR, but I still wanted to show it to you in this haul. This is obviously the debut novel of Zoe Sag or Zoella here on YouTube. I had been watching Zoe for a long time and this was just something that I knew I needed to buy. I've already read it, which you can probably tell from the post-it notes in it, and I'll be putting up a review as soon as I get that film. To be fair, I don't really know when this haul is going to go up, so Look forward to the review eventually. This book is about a girl called Penny who has anxiety and suffers from panic attacks and she writes a blog called Gun Online, which is anonymous. Then uh, she gets whisked off to New York by her family and she meets a boy called Noah, but Noah seems to be hiding something as well. The final book that I have to show you guys today is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. After reading Midnight by Rainbow Rowell from My True Love Gave To Me, I decided that I needed to read her other books and I initially wanted to buy Eleanor and Park but I couldn't find a hardcover that I kind of liked so I decided to go for Fangirl instead and I will be reading this sometime soon probably because I don't know I'm just so excited to read it. I actually don't know what this is about I just know that it's supposed to be fantastic and that everybody loves it so I'm kind of excited going into this a bit blind. Maybe I'll get to this in January. I don't know. Well, those are all the books that I have to show you today. That was quite a cheeky midnight purchase. <laughs> but I'm really happy with all of the books 
and I'm so excited to read all of them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.